Hello class, this is Yvonne Moneki, and my presentation this week is on the three research articles that I chose are pertaining to the Turner Syndrome case study. Usually, normal females have two X chromosomes in all somatic cells and males have a Y chromosome and an X chromosome. Therefore, the normal karyotype for a girl is 46XX and the normal karyotype for a boy is 46XY. Turner syndrome is a chromosomal condition that only affects girls. And Turner syndrome, it's the result of some structural change to the chromosome and it occurs as a result of non-disjunction during the formation of the gamete. And girls with Turner syndrome may have complete or partial deletion of an X chromosome, resulting in a varying genetic anomalies. This figure is an example of a karyotype 45X that is usually seen in Turner syndrome. And as you, as you can see at the bottom of the figure, there's one pair of chromosome that's X with the red marked arrow pointing towards it, that X is actually missing an X pair. And that is commonly seen in patients who do have this Turner syndrome. Here are some characteristics that are normally seen in Turner syndrome. Most of them, there are a few listed here, and the most common ones are small for gestational age, um, short stature, webbed neck, low hairline. Um, they usually are late um, in achieving puberty, and they have cardiac abnormalities such as um, coarctation of the aorta and left ventricular hyperplasia. And they also have associated problems especially renal problems, including a horseshoe kidney, which can occur in several clinical phenotypes, and it's expressed, expressed in the early stage of kidney development, meaning that, hypothetically, several genes expressed during kidney development may influence the formation of a horseshoe kidney that is actually seen in Turner syndrome. They also have hypertension, obesity, and thyroid dysfunction. So on here, we're looking at a comparison of Turner syndrome, which is Klinefelter syndrome that is commonly seen in males. Um, and with the karyotype 47XXY is one of the commonest types of congenital chromosomal disorder in males. And it's re it results in hypogonadism and genetically determined infertility. The main differences between um, Turner syndrome and Klinefelter syndrome. Turner syndrome is associated with developmental malformations besides altered sexual development. And developmental malformations are not increased in Klinefelter syndrome. The developmental abnormalities in Turner syndrome usually lead to clinical diagnosis and cytogenetic confirmation of this condition. In contrast, many males with Klinefelter syndrome are never diagnosed. Klinefelter syndrome is associated with advanced maternal age, while the Turner syndrome is not. And DNA analysis has shown that the extra X chromosome in about half of Klein-Felter syndrome patients is of maternal origin. And those cases are strongly associated with advanced maternal age. So here we see the difference between Turner syndrome and Klein-Felter syndrome, that both have a, a structural change in the chromosome, um, that affect either male or female. Thank you.